2004 Toyota Corolla we are going to perform the self starter maintenance we are going to overhaul the self starter self starter for this car as the head had been opened for this car for the purpose so it is easy to overhaul the self starter on this car at the moment to remove the self starter what we have to do is there is the power cable here on this self starter and here is the control as a for a solenoid actuator so what we will do we will have to remove these two and also here is one bolt which is a 14 millimeter head of course and here downside also one bolt is there from this side those two we will have to remove and this electrical connection so first we will have to remove the electrical connection we already removed the positive connection from the battery so there is no need no no worry for the removal of positive or negative connection so first i removed this battery this cable boot so that the nut is visible here i'm going to remove it this needs a 12 millimeter socket here is a 12 millimeter socket i have to put it on some t so that i will have to remove it So now it is loose, it's coming by hand. So I removed this nut and secured it. By this way, I removed this connection. So the electrical second connection, which is for the solenoid, I have to press it on the plug and remove it. Wiggle it a little bit. Now this is tight. I can use some screwdriver or some small pocket screwdriver also to make it press so that will ease my job yeah now remote this electrical remote this is no need to remove or even we can do it by opening from here Cable tight, it's okay. No, no worry for this. But we will have to remove the two bolts. This needs a 14 millimeter socket with appropriate extension. So I'm going to fix the extension and the socket so that I will put my hand here to remove it. cracked open so very very much tight as the head is removed so the job is very very much easy if the head and intake was here intake is actually in this location so that in that uh, case it was very very difficult to remove this nut this bolt and the other electrical also because putting hands here when the intake is there in place it is very very much difficult but at the moment it is an easy job so what I'm going to do is on this self starter I'm going to make preventive maintenance so that it will increase the life and also it will decrease the load on the battery it will enhance the life it will prolong the life of the battery and of course it will increase the reliability of the vehicle also Using my spanner, I have to try it. The reason is the location is very, very much difficult. So, bunt.
Surf starter will come off of the vehicle as you can see very easily it came off it's dry cleaned but dry it's not lubricated so we will do lubrication we will do overhauling on this whatsoever is bad we will try to replace or whatsoever it needs lubrication we will do okay the self starter we are going to open we are going to dismantle it. For this purpose, we have to use 8 mm uh, spanner to remove these two bolts. These are the holding. So here, I opened it. The second one, I have to lose it also. I loosen them. Now, I have to remove, uh, lose these two also. This loose, and this also of course loose. So now, what I have to do is. I have to remove these two to bring off the solenoid and also this one, this nut to remove this connection. For this purpose, I have to use my sockets. A 10 millimeter is required, and also what I'm thinking is a 12 millimeter will also be needed. So, this is what is a 12 millimeter. Have to remove the nut. This one. Yeah, now it's removed. It's easy to bring off by hand. And now, what I have to do is, I have to fix the 10 millimeter and remove these two nuts also. Here it is opened and here also it is opened. remove the electrical connection I have to pry it off from the stutter by this way pry it off and now what I have to do is I have to remove these two long bolts I removed one I have to remove the second one also Second one also removed. Now I have to dismantle it by this way. This came off. Here is the gear and the actuator unit. These are the, uh, the sun and the what says the spinal planetary gears, and here is the actuator. So what I have to do is I have to remove this. I have to open these two. this also. Here the bushing is there, we will lubricate and here is our starter, the stator, the rotor and here is the stator. And there is the stator, there is the rotor, the armature. We will have to clean it over here thoroughly with the help of sandpaper and also we will have to check for the brushes. Brushes are okay, this one is a little bit small what it will do. It's not needed to replace it right now but it's a bit small. So these are okay. We will clean it. We will clean them, we clean them off 
and here this assembly we have to open it's open like this so here is also one bearing in the front side so we will clean and lubricate that bearing also and here is the rotor part of that bearing the inner shaft so we will clean and we'll do lubrication now here the sun and planetary gears i have to remove them and then afterwards we will fix them it's bad enough dry so it needs proper maintenance we have to do maintenance on that on this thing i have to put them in pan put some solvent using my brush I have to clean this part thoroughly here also clean it with the solvent then we will lubricate each and every part as I did it in one video that was for Ford Crown Victoria now I'm doing for Toyota Corolla it's nearly the same So this unit is cleaned. Now I have to clean this actuator also. There's old grease and whatsoever the dirt, mud, many things are there. It's cleaned a bit. Now I have to clean this back cover and the bushing. Carbon residues are there come from the carbon brushes. This is okay. I have to do for the front front cover also. The bearing and the front cover. This part is also good enough. Now for the stator, I have to do the same thing, but it is better. I have to do it with a clean oil, clean solvent. I'm going to wash it with a clean solvent. It's okay. The stator assembly also I have to do the, to do the same thing. I did the very same thing for this one. Now for the three gears, I have to wash them also. Now all parts cleaned, only this one is remaining. This one I will not clean with the petrol, instead I will put some lubricant here, we will clean it with a rag and then I will fix all these components. Thank you for watching. The assembly is in reverse order of course and it's not very difficult to do. So I will lubricate them and will fix them back. Thank you for watching, subscribe, watch on my channel, I'll bring a lot of videos.